happy third grade. We're starting a new lesson today, and it's a lesson about symmetry. Symmetry basically means what's happening on one side is the exact opposite on the other. So if you were to think of things that are symmetrical in nature, an example of that would be a butterfly. The wings are symmetrical. Your hands, if you were to open them like that, that would be symmetry. So what's on this side will be a mirror image on the other. And how we'll do that is using our name, we will create symmetry and then turn that symmetry into a fun little creature. So first, take a piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half. After you have folded that paper in half, open it up. And on this line, you will write your name. You can do that using cursive or normal, typical block letter writing. So I'm going to do that with cursive since you're in third grade and you're learning cursive. I'll start by drawing big. You can center your name in the middle of the paper or on the edges, however you would like. And for this project, the bigger you write, the better, the more space that you fill up will really fill that location and it will make the space look full. And when your bug is done, it will be larger. Now this is the tricky part. This is a part where some students get confused. Directly after doing that, fold your paper over and turn around onto the back. You will see this back side of the, the name that you just wrote. Trace it. So you might want to press down firmly. Actually, you do want to press down firmly and go over that. In. And if you're not seeing it very well, push down firmly until you do see that line. And it might not be exactly perfect, but you just want to get a good idea. You can always hold it up to the light. I'm having a hard time seeing that little last part. Okay, so now that I've traced it, the goal of tracing it is so that <coughs> excuse me, this will be pressed down into the other side of the paper and by pushing it with your pencil, that pencil is going to push the pencil from this side to this side. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but some of it did make it onto the other side. So here's what we'll do next. Taking this pencil, fill in the rest of the lines that you see. If it's too hard to see, try it again. You can also look at this other side and eyeball it and get somewhat the same. So on this side, I know I have a squiggle line. On that side, it's a squiggle. You want a mirror image. So if I were to fold it, it would look very similar to the other side. Now is the fun part. You get to decide how you want your bug to look. So I've done this previously, and I came up with different ideas. This name bug, I had my M at the bottom being his feet and at the top were his eyes and face. On this name bug, I chose the same direction. And on this one, I'm going to do it the opposite way. So you can see, you can create any type of creature. It's not all going to look the same. So on this bug, I'm gonna decide to make his eyes here. Eyebrows make a nose in the middle. His nose will be different. These will be his hands. And remember, whatever I do to this side, I have to do to that side. I just added another detail. His mouth will be down here. This will be wings. Beat. 
and turn it into a fun hat. And once you have everything that you want for the bug, you can go in and make designs. On this part, I would come in next with a black marker and outline everything you just did. You can do that with a Sharpie or a black marker. You can make your bug scary, you can make your bug funny, you can make your bug serious or cute. There's no wrong way to make your bug. Now, when it comes to coloring in after you outline it, you can choose to color this bug in any way you want. But my goal for this bug is to fill the space. So down here, it looks like he's boinging, like something is under him. So what I will do is create a little turbo jet pack to make it look like this is a flame under the bug. And then the fun begins. This is when you can design, decorate, add any color, any design to the bug. So a finished bug, I had polka dots, I colored things in in detail. You can choose to do different color every little step of the way. You can make the face funny. You can make every color unique to the bug. In fact, if you wanna go even a little bit extra, you can add designs in every single, um, Spot. So there's something called entangling, and it's when you do designs that are smaller inside each letter. This will be a polka dot. This can be a zigzag. And then you color it in different colors. So take your time, make it look great. I'm so excited to see the ones that you come up with. I've already seen some pretty amazing things come out of name bugs before, so I can't wait to see what you guys create. Enjoy.